I think you should tell him how you feel. That's a terrible idea. Julian, don't be so negative. Trust me, I know this stuff. What's going on? Is Anna here to practice something else? She said that she thought about it and she's actually willing to do the piece with me as long as I don't feel awkward about it. So where does that leave me? This might be a, you know, a sign that she's willing to give me a chance. Don't you think you might be leading him on by doing this? Why are you so quick to defend his side? If it means that much to you, then I think you should tell him. No, it's not worth it. how to start this, except to say that I guess a lot of you were right. I feel so foolish. So stupid for actually thinking that Matt could come around so easily. I can't believe everything I felt was one-sided. Even if he doesn't have feelings for me, you don't do that to your friends. He calls himself a nice guy. Well, it's comforting to see all your support through this. You all helped shed some light on the situation. Melissa tries to be optimistic by saying, Matt's just blinded by Anna, but it doesn't mean you should give up. He'll come around and realize that you're the one he's looking for. Honestly though, he doesn't deserve to have me waiting around for him. I deserve better than that, too. AJ actually has Matt's side. Matt can't see what you see because he's not a mind reader. Sure, I never said anything, and I probably won't anymore, but I still feel led on and betrayed. That's fair, right? David has a good point. Matt is projecting an image of perfection onto Anna. Tammy, you're probably doing the same. I guess I am, huh? And most of the time, the reality of the person isn't even close to what you're imagining. Roselle agrees. Both you and Matt have love-induced tunnel vision. Take a step back so you can see the real nice guy deserving of you. Philip puts it well with this quote. Don't make someone a priority when they make you just an option. I guess that's the hardest thing to face, when the feelings that you have aren't being matched. I guess you just have to accept it and move on. Well, I guess it's pretty safe to say that it's all over. I'm not gonna be the girl that gets pushed over and still sticks around. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Matt when Anna rejected him. How? Perfectly ironic. And maybe it's time for me to end these chats with you guys too. I mean, I'm super glad that I have you guys here to help me, but I'm sure you guys are all pretty frustrated with me anyways. <laughs> I would be if I were you. But I really do appreciate all your advice the past few weeks. I just wish I had a better outcome to share. So I guess this is goodbye. For now, I don't know when I'll see you again, but hopefully next time I do, I'll have things figured out a bit more. I just need to get through the showcase in a few days.